So I wanted to make a video for all y'all to watch since it's going to be very hard to get us all in the same room at the same time. Um, so I'm going to go over what it is that I want everybody to do moving forward and why I want you to do it. Because I think that'll better help you better understand what it is that I'm looking for. So um, I'm running this, this promotion about whoever gets the most sales every month will get $200. And the reason I'm doing that is because the listings are wildly um, different between everyone. And I want to talk today about what makes a good listing. So, you know, there's certain things that I'm sure that y'all don't want to do, which is fine, uh, like clean items and make sure the pictures are good and things like that. But those things help these items sell. So I don't mind paying y'all to do the listings, but if you do a little bit more work, then your items will sell quicker. And then your, for instance, uh, Raymond did many more posts than everybody else, but his pictures are not that great. So they did not sell. So um, we're gonna go over the three most important things um, that we should be doing. So the first thing, let me go into my selling here. I'm gonna go into y'all's drafts. I talked to Raymond and Sam about this, and I said, if I can get three of y'all to do, to combine and make one fantastic employee, that would be great. Because by far, Brittany does the best titles, Sam does the best pictures, and Raymond does the postings the fastest, right? Um, so I'm gonna start at the top. Like, What is the most important thing if you only did one thing correctly, what is that most important thing? And that is the title of the item. The reason the title is the most important thing is because that's what people are searching for. So it will not pop up if it does not have a good title, right? So let's look at this. So, um, so here's a couple of listings here. Um, so we have Denon, blah, 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 uh, CD, cassette deck, used, whatever. And then we have Yamaha uh, with the model number used, which is fairly, you know, that that's Brittany. So she may not be finished with this, but that's not, uh, that's not a good title, right? And we have the Genuine Dell uh, charger power adapter with some model numbers and stuff. Uh, so that's Brittany. We'll move down to someone else. So uh, here we have Raymond, black handled Meridian Elite Knife, right? Um, there it seems to me like there could be something else there. This one is a good one, vintage, whatever, Sweden cheese slicer, fluted stainless steel blade, wooden handle. Like that's a very good um, title. Let's go down to somebody else. Um, but here, here's another one with Raymond, wireless headphones, Bluetooth. Like, what, what are we talking, like, nobody, this is not going to pop up on anybody's feed because we don't have a brand, we don't have a model, we don't have anything that somebody would search for on that, you know, so that's just, like, so if, if I came across this listing, I would think that they were, that they were like Walgreens brand headphones or something like that, you know, like that, you know, that they ought to be like $3 or something, but we can go in here and so we'll talk about this here in a minute so i have no idea anything about them like there's only two pictures and they're not very good pictures right um so let's go to let's see if sam has some uh do i have all the sam stuff okay so here's one with sam uh clip minitronics uh yada yada with the size and everything in case right so that's a pretty good pretty good um description too so the the title has to have everything that a person would be looking for right um so think so when you're doing the title stop and think like if i was trying to buy this what would i search up to try to find it right like that's that's the most important thing you know if 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 i was looking for exactly this yamaha um whatever it is what would I 
search. I might search Yamaha with the model number if I knew the model number, or I might search, let's see what this is. I don't even know what it is. Or I might search, um, I might search Yamaha stage box, or I might search uh, Yamaha 16 port or something like that. I might search Yamaha Ether ES 100. You know, that like, so all those things might, I mean, need to be in the title in my, in my estimation, right? So I'm gonna do a, uh, okay, the, so that's the first thing. The title is by far the uh, most important thing that's on the listing. The second most important thing is the price, right? Y'all don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff because I, I set the prices. Um, but the, so the second most important thing after somebody has done the search is to look for uh, whatever price point that we're at, right? So I'll do that. The third most important thing is the picture, right? And um, that's because they've already they've already searched. So let's do. Uh, Let's look at this. So I'm gonna search for one of those. And so this, if, if I'm looking to buy one, this has five listings, right? For, for Yamaha with this model number, right? We have this one that looks, you know, very good. We have this that looks like that's actually what I have. Um, this is probably an accessory. This is probably an accessory. So there's no. So let's see if there's anything sold here. Um, okay, so we have 12, 12 results sold. So we have this one for six hundred, this one for eight hundred. Those are the same thing. I mean, it's the same. You can see it's the same picture. So what might happen? They might have had more than one, or they might have somebody bought this one, then they decided they didn't want it and they refunded it or something like that. We have this one for four hundred fifty dollars, um, five thirty five, nine seventy nine, with free shipping. Okay, so let's look at a, a couple of these. Okay, we'll look at these three. So this is the exact same thing, and let's assume. So look, this one has the same exact um, title, all three of them, right? And I didn't even plan that, except for this one. This one's slightly different than that one, 16 channel, 16 in and out, eight out, right? So uh, this one sold for 800, this one sold for 450, this one sold for 535. Why? Why did this, why did these, why did it sell like this? So um, let's look at this. So these two are the same user, right? So feedback is a thing. So the, both these people, I mean, this person has 145 feedback, this one has 67. Uh, the lower the feedback, the um, less likely you're going to sell something, all things being equal, right? My feedback is over 2,000, so there is largely nothing wrong with my feedback. So if I had this exact same item and this one was listed for 450, this one was 800, and this one was 535, if I listed mine for 800 or 750, then mine would sell first because my feedback is higher, right? But let's look why these were um, sold differently. Um, so which one is the better picture right off, right? To me, you know, oddly enough, this is the better picture. But we'll, we'll call this one because it's cropped and everything. And it's got the front plate and and it's, it's not a great picture because it's got the shadow and stuff right here. But it's it's what the item is, right? The second best picture is this one right here. Um, it's bright, you can see the whole thing. This one might have been the better picture if they had made this a square and cropped this around instead of having this guy's arm in it and all this crap that's all over the background. This would have been a better picture had they did all that, but they didn't do that. And this one is by far, far the worst picture. There's two things here. so. It, they're only selling this one, but this guy has multiple. So this is a second unit. So there's something else in the picture. There's carpet in the picture. There's shadows. Uh, there's a glare right here. So you can't really see. So, you know, both these pictures are kind of crappy. This one's by far the best, but because he didn't crop it, it's a terrible picture. 
So um, you want to, you see this gray box right here? You want to make your main picture as square as humanly possible, right? And I'm going to talk about that when we post one here in a minute. So that way, as much of the item that's in there is um, is in the in the picture, right? That's why I said this is the best picture because there's nothing else that you could have done with this that would have made this better, except no glare and no shadow, right? But as far as the size of the picture, that's as good as it can be, right? Um, so let's uh, let's post something. So I did several things. So I did, um, oh, let's do this. I took three pictures of this. They're similar. And I'm going to go through them. I'm going to wait for the, wait for it to load up. Okay. And see if y'all can tell me which, which one is best. So we'll call this picture number one. All right. We'll call this one picture number two. And we'll call this one picture number three. Can you tell me which one is better? Three, two, one. All right? Okay, so one I took with just my regular kitchen light on. You know, it is what it is. I don't really like this picture too much because this is all blurry back there, but that's fine. On this one, it's slightly brighter. It's still blurry in the background, but I'll open up the window so there's slightly more light going on. And then this third one um, would, might have been the better picture, except there's this big shadow of an arm right here where I was taking the picture, right? And so what I did on these two to not have that big shadow is I zoomed in on my camera instead of just taking a regular picture. So that way I could back up a little bit so, my, so there wouldn't be a shadow in the, in the picture to make it darker. So the brighter the picture, usually the better, right? Um, except sometimes, like you can use your flash, but sometimes flash puts too much light in it, you know? So um, so out of those three pictures, this one was, the second one was probably the best one. But I did take a uh, another set of pictures, or at least I thought I did. Maybe I did not. Okay, so I should have taken another picture because this one, this is all blurry here. But um, but also, I didn't clean this up. So you see this stain right here. So that's that's ugly. So I actually, since this was not the better picture, and I didn't clean the stain up here, but you just can't. It's not as pronounced. So I'm going to use this picture right here for. Well, I did take another picture. What's happening here? Uh, oh. So what the picture I'm actually going to use is this one. All right, we'll let it load up. So, so why am I going to use this picture? Why am I going to use this picture? One, it has everything in it, right? The charging cord is here. It's better than that charging cord that's all a big old mess. I wrapped it up so it's nice and clean. So they see it has a charger. It has the um, camera in it. And then it has these other products in it over here as well, right? So I'm going to use that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select all these pictures. I probably should have taken that picture again and made it more square. Like these are more square. You know, see this one's more long than it is square, but I'm not going to go back and do that. So, so I'm going to do a search on this. Samsung with the model SCW71. Okay, so the, there's 28 of these, so I mean for sale right now. Um, a lot of times, I no, I'm not going to. Here, here's what I do. Y'all don't have to do this because I'm looking for price. So a lot of times I look at the the for sale ones and I'll see I'll do it by highs and say you know 104 uh, 99 and then it drops down to to nothing. So um, this is 29, but it's parts only. 54 parts only, 35 parts only, parts only, parts only. So that, that means these they either couldn't test it out or they or it doesn't work. These say pre-owned, so we can assume that these things work. This one is $99, but it needs a battery and a charger. And this one says 
tested, we can go in there and see if it needs a battery charger. Of these two, uh, let's look at the, um, the, oh, well, let's go to sold. Because that's where, that's where I want y'all to go. So you would go to sold and you would see, um, a lot of the times when you sort it by shipping by highest, because the title is most important, usually the highest price one here is the title that you want to use. Except if it has a bunch of stupid words in it that we don't need. So this has um, the model number, all this kind of stuff, video player. What's it? This This says transfer, watch, record. Like, yeah, we know it does all that. We don't have to do all that. Tested needs charger. Okay, so this is the one that I would use. So I'm going to do sell one like this. And we're going to go over every bit of this. So we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the photos first. So I'm going to drag those photos over. So this is my main photo. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to crop this bad boy down. And so I put it like right at the edge of this. I don't. I just want them to know that there's a cord there. Um, maybe, but I'm a, but I still want this picture as square as humanly possible. Right. And so maybe, you know, I'll do something like that. Um, I might even bring it in a little bit more like that and I'm going to give about the same space here as I am here. I'm going to hit save. Right. And so that makes, makes that picture a lot bigger for them. So they see it still has a cord. It still has extra tape. It still has the um, the item. I'm gonna hit done. So in here, I also plugged the item up, and I took a picture of the viewfinder because it doesn't have a flip out screen. So that way they know that it works. I took a picture of the left side, the back, the right side, the front side, the top, the bottom the tapes and then I took a individual picture of that tape and an individual picture of that other side. All right. And then I took a picture of the cord. If you could not see this or if your camera's not good enough, you can see every part of the cord. You see the part that plugs into the wall. You see the part that plugs into the other end of this socket. You see the part that plugs into the um, camera. If I was just selling just this cord without the camera, I might turn that, flip that so I can see what kind of hole it has. It shows these two connectors that connect to this this thing. So you can see every part of this charging cord, but I didn't, I took a picture of the top of this. So I'm gonna turn, I turned that, that over so you can see the back side of the charger as well, just so people can know, right? Um, and I'm gonna explain why I did that as well too. So um, what else? So those those are all the pictures. This first picture has to be the best picture out of ev out of everything. It needs to show everything that comes with it, and it's almost always it needs to do that. And it needs to be as good quality as possible and as square as possible. So that way, the the main thing that you're selling is as big as it can possibly be on the screen. I'm gonna show you another example of why. So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna go over here. Oh, oh. eBay. Um, what do I do? Okay, so the title. If it's just one thing, then you want the name of the item first, the very first thing. You want the model of the item second, right? So on this, we can see the model of the item is right here, and it says SCW71. But in other places, let's see if we can see it here. Uh, it doesn't say, it. there's no dash there. So um, so maybe this right here doesn't need to be there, the dash 71. But they put it in there, so maybe the model number for like a later model might have had the dash or something in there. So they're going to leave that there. Um, high 8, high space 8, 8 millimeter. Video 8 camcorder. Like, does, does all that need to be there? No, not necessarily. But if there was anything else that we wanted to put at, because we only have 76 characters, 
if there was anything else that we wanted to put in here, then we might take some of this out and put it in there. And so we got camcorder, VCR, player, video, trans transfer. Um, I might put with tapes or something. And so we're, we've run our characters. And so I'm going to, I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to put a dash there so they know that goes there. And I'm putting tapes. Um, I'm going to put my initials there. My initials plus uh, the box. Okay, second part. Um, so because I use somebody else's listing, they already have it as camcorders and camera and photo. Um, many people are not, many of y'all are not changing the store category. At some point, I'm going to go in here and make this simpler because there are a lot of things in there that probably shouldn't be in there. But please make sure you check it and make sure you check it every time. So it saves the last one that you used. So um, we're going to do electronics various, right? Because electronics and the other kind of electronics I have are computers and printers and phones. So it's not either one of those two. So I'm going to just put electronics right there. So when I post this, when I do, when I do the next post, the store category should say electronics and various where it gets off. So say you're doing a bunch of Hot Wheels and you set the store category as toys slash Hot Wheels and you're, you're listing. But if somebody else is listing also, which there's five of y'all, if someone else is listing and they list electronic various, then that's what's going to be saved if they save it after you. So that's why I said check this every single time, right? Um, so these three things here, I don't specific, these three, three things here are required. You have to have something there. The brand is Samsung. The model is this, but it's, it's not that it's, um, it's actually just, we're just going to do that. Oh, stop. I'm going to add that. So that way there's not two of them there. And then we have a uh, type. Um, that may have been, yeah, that was already once selected. So we're going to leave that there. All the rest of the stuff you don't have to do. In fact, mostly I would prefer that it be left blank because these are optional items. So we use somebody else's stuff. So if we create our own, these two things would be blank. We're going to leave them there because it's fine, you know, but, um, if you look at it and you're like, you know, I don't know if that's the media format, the best thing to do would be to clear them off and leave these items blank, right? Okay, so condition. If it's not brand, brand new in the box, like something that you would buy at Walmart, then do not put new under any circumstances. If it, if it looks like it has ever been opened or ever been used at all, it is not new. Some of you are putting brand new on a lot of things. Um, don't do that. If it's... If it looks like it came out of Walmart, like maybe somebody bought it and took it out to their car and they opened it and then they took it back and got a refund, you put open box, right? Um, if it looks used at all, do not put open box. You would put used, right? Now, if you're if you're playing with it um, and you know that it doesn't work, then you would put for parts not working. Every now and again, I give y'all something that's broken um, and... If I know it's broken, I put for parts not working. So I would put click used on that one. I do want to say something else on this. So this camcorder, uh, I think I might have said this. I turned it on and took a picture of this. So that way the people know that the thing actually works, you know. So that's a good idea. You know, if you if you have some kind of electronic, plug it in and take a picture of it with it on so people know that it turns on, you know. Okay. So um, down here in the description, uh, you... Do this very um, general, right? On this one, I would say um, item it is in good working condition, right? If it has excess, like, you know, it does have some scratches. Like if you click on this one, you see it's, you know, it's got some scuffs and stuff like that, but not really, you know, it's in pretty good shape. If it, if it had like a deep scratch there or something, I might tell them it's, I might give them more information. 
but otherwise keep this as simple as humanly possible. Do not promise too much. Do not promise too little, right? Y'all will leave this blank. I'm going to go ahead and post it um, here in a minute. So I'm going to call it 99.99. Oh, uh, and so then there's, there's one of them. Usually if y'all have two of something in the tub, uh, one or two, one of two things is happening. Um, both of those things need to be sold together in one listing, or I thought they were different enough in condition that I want two listings to happen. Almost never will you, so if there were two of these in here, almost never will you do that and put two of them. If, if there's two of something in your bin, there's, there's something specific that I want done with that. And so ask or something, you know, don't just, um, don't just put two there because I almost never will do that. Um, so that's one of them. Uh, allow offers, yes. We'll put however much it weighs. I didn't weigh it, so I'll come back and do this. Um, so when you put the size on this, um, on the sizing, what I want you to do is make like all this stuff, put it as tightly compressed as you can, and give a general measurement on that. So, because what some people are doing, they're putting, um, so like on, for t-shirts, for instance, if you had a t-shirt, they have it laying down and they give me in the size, they put the measurement from the arm to the arm and from the top to the bottom. And so that size end up, ends up being like, um, you know, 32 uh, by 22 by one, right? Because it's not very thick. But this is the package dimensions, not the actual dimensions of the item, you know. So the package dimensions are going to be in the smallest possible box that I could do. So if we, if this was the size of this, say this was a T-shirt or something, even though it weighs 2 pounds, 13 ounces, because this size right here is so big, it might cost like 20 or $25 to ship. Where if the size was... Um, like that big, it will cost like $5 to ship. So on the package dimensions, put the smallest actual size that you could probably make it. Now on t-shirts, I'm not asking, don't, don't wad the t-shirt up or anything like that. Just make it small and, um, you know, it, uh, you know, it fairly small, I guess I'll just say it like that. Um, what else? I feel like there's something else I was about to say right here. Okay, so shipping, we're going to add a shipping service. Um, since it weighs over a pound, it will be USPS priority. If it weighs under a pound, it will be USPS ground advantage. Anything other than that, I'll do. So y'all just worry about that. Over a pound, under a pound, right? We'll hit save. Um, we'll go down here. And a couple of y'all are able to go in here and change this uh, listing add rate to two. And uh, so... But some of y'all can't do that, so don't worry too much about that. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, so I want to look at this. So this um, this right here has – how many cassettes do we say that it had? So it had these cassettes that has two, three, four of these brand-new cassettes. The reason I took – that I want y'all to take like a picture like this because I might – Come over here and say, um, Maxwell, what was it called? XR dash metal, XR dash metal, 120 high eight. I might do a search on this and we'll go, okay, this one sold for 10 bucks. Two of these sold for $10.95, two pack for $18.75, seven of them for $50, two for $22. So to me, um, these are worth selling by themselves, right? And maybe I just miss it. I try to catch this stuff before I give it to y'all, but maybe I just missed it. Or maybe I put them in there. 
and I was just assuming that y'all knew that y'all would pull these out or whatever. So what I'm going to do on this listing is, um, so this listing is ready to go. I'm actually going to take with tapes off of that one. And um, I'm going to put, comes with two open tapes, right? I say that because these two right here are open, right? So I'm going to send these two with them. Um, and I may even put, and, and y'all don't have to do this, but I'm saying if y'all had taken pictures of these two, like, like these, like this, then, um, then I would make a different listing. So I'm going to go in there with two open tapes, uh, does not include the purple tapes. So that's what I'm going to do here. 99.99 for that, for this camera. Go down, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to save that for later, All right? And so it's going to take us to the menace drafts. I'm going to uh, click this. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, just for grants, I'm going to list that. And I'm going to do um, create a similar listing. But while that's doing that, oh, that, let's go ahead and do this. So in this similar listing, I'm going to um, delete, delete, delete. Take those out of there. I'm going to put that one right there since that's the best picture. Make that one smaller. Done. Delete, delete. All right. And on this one, I'm going to put it. A lot of four maxwell i8 xr metal 60 mins 120 what is the 120 120 tapes. Now on this one, I might put a uh, high eight, something like that. So I'm going to put a lot of four because there's four of them there. Uh, if you click, usually if it says something right here, you might do that. Brand um, here, since this is different, we're going to have to change this to a uh, high eight tapes and see what comes up. Um, camcorder tapes and discs. I'm going to call that electronics various the same. Uh, we're going to put Maxwell here. Uh, I8 there. Used. Nope. Brand new. New. What do we say these these ran? Um, 10. Between 10 and 15 a piece. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put 29.99 on there. I'm gonna put, uh, we're probably gonna wait a pound. Okay, so that so I just took your other listing and I made a brand new listing, and so now you'll get paid an extra dollar at least for this. I am gonna put 60 max capacity because you took a couple of extra pictures, right? So I, I, what I did, I took those off of the other one, I put it on here because I'm gonna sell them separate, 
everything on here is correct. I'm gonna hit list. While that's listing, I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna click view listing. I'm gonna click revise. And I'm going to take off these other tapes because they're on another listing. So I might actually crop this one down some more. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Purple tapes, 100, yada, yada, revise. Okay, so now both of those listings are good. So that went from a $100 listing to a $130 listing. Plus, so you get commission and everything. And then also you get a chance at two sales instead of just one sale, right? All because you took more pictures, right? Let's do another one. So we have this brand new item. I'm going to select all those, download, okay. so let's look at this. Um, FNAF game, we go sold. I'll do highs first. So 20, 21, 17. And sometimes the difference is because of shipping. You know, that one sold more because it's only $9 shipping. This one's $11 shipping. Uh, 23, so about $20 is the right price. Uh, Finance at Freddy's. Night of Frights game, Funko Pop uh, Pop Board Game Seal. So I'm going to hit select that one. Okay. Okay, so I also want to put in FNAF because that's what that's called, Five Nights at Freddy, F N A F, uh, just because I knew that. I don't really, you know, if there's room to put this kind of stuff, then that's fine. Um, if, if, if there's room, especially on new, um, put there. But I don't like to have used here. If it's new, we'll put new. If it's used, usually I won't put anything. If it's old, I might put vintage or something like that. But um, this is fine. Still FNAF, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to these pictures. And I'm going to make this as square as possible. All right. So really, all you had to do was the front and back. But we have 24 pictures. So take extra pictures. But I wanted, to, wanted everybody to look at this. So we have this picture here. And we have that picture there. Which one should we use? We should use this picture because that's way better, right? So I'm going to delete that other one. I got the, the back pictures. I got the contents so everybody knows what's in there. I took another thing that has like the synopsis of the game. And I took a picture of the side. Uh, more than anything, just so they could see that it had the seal or whatever. But um, I probably should have took it. You know, so a good rule of thumb is front, back, and then all the sides. So there should be at least six pictures to everything. But, you know, if this was used, I would open up the box. I would take a picture of, of these little guys. I'd take a picture of all the things. I would, you know, there would probably be like 15, 20 pictures on this thing if it was brand new, right? So I'm going to do a bin test. Um, we got board games here. Store category is toys. Uh, board games, board and card games, Funko brand, Five Nights at Freddy, blah, blah, blah. I see like all this stuff, like 
this is not such a big deal. I don't know if that's the right. You know, I could go read the back of the box and see if it is, but I'm not going to mess with that. So new uh, brand, new in plastic. Um, it's, it's sold for $19.99. Of course, y'all would leave that blank. Um, I don't know what it, what size it is. We'll just put that there. Uh, I don't know if that's a weight or not either. You put the right weight. Uh, click listing, and then you would save, right? So that's that's pretty quick turnaround. You know, like we we had the pictures and everything. We made sure that I made sure I cropped this one. I took the crap pictures out um, and all that kind of stuff, and everything is as it should be. Uh, if I wanted to, I could check this, the 0299. I could check that just to make sure it's right. 0299 are the last four. So, you know, that that's an actual uh, good uh, UPC number. So that one is ready to list.